Hello, my name is Anthony Newman. I'm a publisher at Elsevier, and today I want to talk about identifying research gaps. So the Hungarian pharmacologist and Nobel laureate, Albert Sient Yogi, said a very interesting thing. Research is seeing what everyone else has seen and thinking what nobody else has thought. So that characteristics of research is best personified by the identification of a research gap. What's a research gap? Well, think of it, you can see it like this as a jigsaw puzzle whereby you look a missing piece. So a research gap is a problem that's not yet been addressed or answered uh, in previous studies, of course. Uh, it might be that this is um, not even known about. It just, it just happened because one answer was creative, but created much more questions. It's a topic or area which missing or inadequate information is there. It limits the ability of reviewers to reach a conclusion of any given question. So research gaps, of course, are the center of any research determining which areas which seem to lack critical information. And they're particularly important for progress in science in general, identifying a research gap and developing a new and the same study or series of studies that can lead to new findings that can positively impact our whole society. So how do we go about identifying a research gap? There's nine primary steps to help you on this journey. So firstly, look for inspiration in the published literature. Read literature within the topic of your choice, and it's of course, it's a lot of subjects, will help you understand the existing depth of research in your field. And it should provide you with an opportunity to ask yourself questions that can lead to discovery of a research gap, which is a very useful way to focus yourself on research in the future. And so some of these questions to ask per paper or per publication is, what's the significance of this research to my work or the broader field? How can it help me formulate my research questions? Does the author's argument require more clarification? Are there things not being said or not addressed in your opinion? What issues or questions has the author not addressed? Is there a different perspective that I could consider is a question you could also be thinking of asking yourself. Are the methods or procedures used outdated or no longer considered valid in my field? as the field's moved on. Is there scope for me to test the findings using a more current approach? And do you know the cutting edge methods of analysis that should be used? Again, something for you to perhaps discover. These overarching questions can help you lead to research gap in your next topic of research, because if there's nothing being published there, then something needs to be published there. Something needs to be researched there. So what do you do? You find keywords and related terms to your selected topic. Besides synthesizing the topic to its essential core, this preparation helps you with the next steps in the process. This will help you to find and filter out information that's pertinent to your area of interest specifically. And of course, always seek help from your research advisor or other senior colleagues. Discuss the issues and problems in your field with your research advisor to generate ideas for research. Suggestions from an experienced researcher may also spark new and interesting approaches. Clearly describing your ideas and finding what others think and are working on may well help you identify a research gap or even recognize mistakes in your approach to finding this gap. Recognize the power of your network to help you get more information, more specific information. And of course, you can use digital tools to seek out popular topics or most cited research papers. Digital tools can save time and help you cast a wider net in your search for a research gap. They also help you keep track of the resources you have already read and referenced and can help you with manuscript preparation later when you come to write your paper. At the end of this presentation, we will provide you with a list of commonly used digital resources for researchers.